Okay, we have a double outlet box here, and we don't have a double cover. We only have a, a single one, so we're going to revert back to a single cover or single outlet here. So we'll unhook our jumper wire here. Which one's our jumper? It's the one on the bottom. that off. Come over here and we'll take our jumper off over here. So we'll leave this outlet in and we'll take this one off. Take our other wire from the uh, this outlet. taking off. Now we're saving this outlet. Now we have our ground wire looped here from outlet to outlet. So that's why we're taking this one off and we'll save this extra ground wire in case somebody decides to revert back to a double outlet. So we'll just take that off there. Okay, so here in the country I was born in, the uh, our outlets are polarized. Our white wire goes on the silver screw, which is the wide slot. The ground or the green wire goes on the screen screw, which is the U-shaped hole. And your black, red, or blue wire, which is live, goes on the brass screw, which is the uh, narrower hole. So now we can start hooking this one back up. So we'll put our feed through wire going down to the other outlet and the white on the silver screw here. So it stays under our screw head all the way around there. See how once you keep pushing up, I'm going to take this off here. And I'm going to clip this wire a little shorter so we can uh, close our loop a little bit better here. So we'll take... about a sixteenth of an inch of copper off there. Put it back under our screw. And now I can close the loop a little tighter. And 
you want to make sure you don't get your insulation under the screw head there. It keeps wanting to wrap around, so I bend it over like this and hold it from the back like that there so that it doesn't wrap around because it's a used loop so it's a little trickier to work with so that's why I do to keep it from uh, wrapping around and opening pushing the screw out from under the, the wire out from under the screw head so that's what we want. Now we'll flip it over and we'll get our black onto our brass colored screw. Turn it so it goes in the box this way. There we go. Close our loop up. Make sure we don't get our copper under the or insulation under the screw head. Make sure it's nice and tight. Our copper is under the screw head all the way and our insulation's not pinched. So now we can shape our wires to go into our box. We'll keep our ground wire down. So we'll shape it so it goes back and forth this way and we'll keep it down on our bottom here. And we're just gonna save that bare spot in case somebody does want to revert back to a uh, a double outlet and now we'll put our single gang mud ring on here Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure our wires aren't going to be pushing against anything we don't want them pushing against. And our screws are not going to hit the uh, wires, so we'll just push this into our box here.
Okay, so we'll just take our flashlight, make sure our screws aren't hitting the wires. Make sure we're not pushing against any sharp edges. Our ground wire is down away from everything, and we are all set. <laughs>